Hi, in this video we're going through how to get gold in the offshore variant of the second GTA 5 heist, the Merryweather heist, where we'll get some great flying practice and Lester gets upset. Hi and welcome back, my name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. Grand Theft Auto is a truly massive game. Between GTA 5 and the constant updates from Rockstar for GTA Online, there's no shortage of new content and interesting things to do. Join me then in our continuing series, getting gold in every damn mission in GTA 5, as we look at the offshore variant of the second Grand Theft Auto heist, the Merryweather heist. And don't forget to hang about until the end so you can catch our bonus tips for keeping the cargo bob in check. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, we do how-to guides, news, and giveaways. So consider subscribing and ringing the bell to stay up to date. Getting gold in this mission is a lot of fun, but it might take a few goes if you're not super flash with the cargo bob yet. I also highly recommend the flying lessons with Michael prior to starting. Most of our gold medal objectives are time-based this time around. Uh, we need to find the container in less than two minutes, eliminate all Merryweather pursuers, and we need to take out the pursuers in four minutes or less, and complete the whole mission in 14 minutes and 30 seconds. Right, no time for faffing about, let's get straight on into it. All right, so we start off at Floyd's apartment and we'll just skip that cutscene and jump straight on into Trevor's truck. And away we go. Now, it very much is a case of just following the GPS all the way to the airfield here. That was a, a crook hole drive, so the sun's just about gone down, which means that we get to go in under the cover of darkness. So just pull into the marker there. Michael will jump out. We can see the submarine rocking up. Jump into the cargo bob and then fire up the machine. So once we're airborne, we just need to deploy the grappling hook and then gingerly pop ourselves over the top of the submarine. And near enough is good enough with this one. It will just kind of hook itself up when it gets there. There we go. Okay, and then we just need to head out to the marker next. So make sure you ascend a fair bit. We need to get over the top of the mountain uh, without the cargo bob getting clobbered. And I will absolutely never, never get sick of those water effects or that sunset in Los Santos. Okay, remember to ascend to get over the mountains. We need to make sure that we don't clip the cargo bob or lose it, as Trevor would be very upset. All right, so we can see the test site just coming into view there, and we need to drop Trevor not too far away from it. So once you're over the yellow marker or close to the, uh, the pontoons there, you can release the sub and we'll automatically switch to Trevor. There'll be a bit of chatting uh, and then we can just pop the Trackify app using your mobile phone. And once that's booted, we just follow the red dot. All right, now I switched off the headlights here because I think they tend to end up blinding me and I had a lot of trouble seeing where I was going anyway, so... I've gone with headlights off. I might switch them back on afterwards when we get closer to the marker. All right, make sure you don't hit the bottom of the seafloor there. There it is. Get as close to the markers as possible. Just throw the lights back on. Love the shark. That is just a nice touch. Grab the device, and I've just driven over it to collect it. And then we just want to ascend, so hold the ascension button and drive upwards as well. Alright, so just bubbling up. So I'm ascending using the ascending button and driving up as well, so that it, uh, it brings us up a bit quicker. We are on a time limit, remember. Just heading to the surface now. 
And once we've surfaced, we'll be prompted to switch to Michael. There we go. Great. So we just need to line the cargo bob up. And this is probably the most critical part of the mission because it's very easy to drop the chopper into the ocean. So very, very gingerly. And slowly descend down. And then collect the cargo bob. Uh, collect the sub. There we have it. So straight up again. Gain some altitude and head for the yellow marker. Don't forget to gain some altitude before we hit those mountains as well, otherwise it will end very poorly. Okay, so they have sent some boats after us, so now we're just onto the rail shooter section there. As we've swapped to Michael. Just need to take out the boats, fairly straightforward. Oh, and a chopper as well. So take out the shooter and then the pilot. There we are. One more boat there, I think, by the look of it. Oh, we do have a few extra enemies. So, again, line them up and just shoot. Get that boat. Probably a bit more of a threat than the chopper, to be honest. we go so that's the shooter gone that's another shooter gone and that's the chopper exploded one more to go and that's the, all of them taken care of oh i think there's a few at the back as well all right great just drop these guys that's him gone and one more to the side There we are. And that's all of them taken care of, so we can now switch back to Michael and we're off. Okay, so I think that's all the resistance we're going to see. So while we're heading back to the airstrip, and before we get to any bonus tips, it's probably an opportune time to mention that we recently launched our Patreon page. Patreon backers get access to most videos early, are automatically entered into exclusive Patreon-only shark card draws, receive priority responses to questions, and are invited to join any of the old grumpy gamers whenever we're playing online. Details on how to become a backer are in the description below. And while you're there, don't forget to enter our semi-regular milestone shark card giveaways, follow us on your favourite social media platform, and visit our website for all the latest in old grumpy gamer goodness. Okay, so we're nearly at the airfield, just back across the lake again, and again, love the water effects there, it's just stunning to see. We can see the yellow marker there. And as we approach, we'll end up just gingerly popping the cargo bob down, oh sorry, the, uh, the submarine down. Right, so we're just making our final approach now. Marker should so show up fairly soon. Yep, we can see it there. All right, so just plonk the cargo bob down. Doesn't have to be that gently, to be honest. So you can just dump it and then drop the uh, the chopper straight down. All right, end of the cutscene. We'll just skip that for the moment. And that's the highest spiced done. All gold as well, which is absolutely fantastic. So, thanks for watching to the end, and here are my top tips for keeping the cargo bob in check. Do the flying lessons with Michael first, it makes the cargo bob much easier to handle and much more stable. Be gentle in your adjustments when picking up the sub, flailing wildly will end up slowing you down and could cost you gold. And if you're not confident with the cargo bob, jump into GTA Online and play Simeon's repo mission, Do You Even Lift, a few times. So, what are your thoughts? Do you have any tips for other viewers or could this have been done differently? Leave your comment down below. And check out the video on the left for the freighter variant of this mission, or the one on the right for some more old grumpy gamer goodness. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.